Hi everybody, this is a video about the efficacy of non-pharmaceutical chelators for removing heavy metals from the body. Uh, just before I jump into the crux of the video here, if you don't mind taking a quick second to please like or share or subscribe or post a quick comment on the video, I'd really appreciate it. So thanks in advance for taking a second to do that. And um, also as per usual, nothing that I'm saying should be construed as medical advice. This is for informational purposes only. If you need medical advice, please talk to your healthcare provider to get that advice. So somebody posted a question on one of my other videos it was all about heavy metals and was asking essentially how effective are agents like chlorella or cilantro at removing heavy metals. So um, it's a really great question. Um, one of my mentors, Dr. Dietrich Klinghart, he's a medical doctor from the Was uh, from uh, Seattle, Washington area. Um, he's talked about the benefits of cilantro and chlorella for years and in terms of the heavy metal binding properties of those agents. Um, and one of the many things I love about Dr. Klinghart is that he always has literature citations for the things that he talks about. Now, with that being said, um, some of the literature citations are, you know, looking at animal studies or maybe in vitro studies or things like that. So um, to date, um, I, I don't recall having seen any um, studies where folks were, like, you know, human in human clinical trials where, you know, certain doses of chlorella or cilantro were used for, you know, certain periods of time and then showing like pre and post heavy metal levels coming down. Um, I'm not saying those studies don't exist, but I don't recall having seen them before and I didn't have a chance to do a deep dive into the research literature to, to post a social media video. But uh, if anybody knows of those studies, um, please, if you could mention them in the comment section below, I'd love to hear about them. It'd be great to see those. Um, what I can say from my clinical experience is that um, I, while I think that um, substances like cilantro and uh, chlorella can be useful and I've certainly had some patients who have had clinical benefits from taking those. Um, I, I'm not aware of them being able to strongly detoxify heavy metals from a person's system. Um, I think about, I, I recommend chlorella on a regular basis as a binding agent to help uh, try to make sure that the metals that we are flushing out of the body through, you know, more traditional chelation therapy using, you know, uh, treatments like DMSA and EDTA and DMPS and whatnot, um, I oftentimes will recommend the patients take chlorella to help make sure that the metals that they're working to flush out of their body through their intestinal tracts are actually you know, being escorted out of the body effectively. The chlorella, the idea is that it'll help to bind up those metals in the intestines and minimize the chances of those metals getting reabsorbed back into the circulatory system from the intestines. Um, so I, I do recommend chlorella on a semi-regular basis, but really more as a, a detox adjunct as opposed to a main driver of heavy metal removal. Um, just as an interesting point, um, once upon a time, in my in my younger days, I decided to do a little um, study on me. Um, I did my baseline heavy metal, uh, I did a baseline heavy metal test, and then I did a post chelation heavy metal test to see how much metal was coming out. And I was happy to see that I didn't really have a whole heck of a lot of metal coming out, but there there was some. As a human being living on planet Earth, we do have metal exposure, um, and so then. I waited a little while and then I did a, a retest um, after consuming certain natural agents and one of them was I consumed um, a fair bit of cilantro tincture um, and so I consumed like probably about three or four or five times like the dose that I would typically ever recommend to a patient. So I just did kind of like one big dose of cilantro tincture. And uh, then I tested my urine afterwards and sent that off to the lab to see what the levels look like. And the levels that came back were indistinguishable from the baseline test that I had done, um, basically suggesting that the um, there was no additional metal that was hauled out of my system by the cilantro. Now, one could listen to that and the devil's advocate would be, well, yeah, fair enough. But like, you know, the idea with cilantro isn't that it's supposed to be able to compare, like, you know, or compete head to head with a chelating agent. Chelating agents are very, very strong chelators. And maybe um, had I done, you know, say taken cilantro over, you know, three, four, five, six months, maybe I would have seen those metal levels coming down um, in an appreciable, to an appreciable extent by the end of that period of time. Um, and so maybe it's more of like a slow and steady wins the race type of thing. I was, and, and I, acknowledge that going into doing this little study on myself and I which is part of why I said well okay I'll try like you know quadruple or quintuple the dose or whatever it was um and just to see if it would make more of an impact but even still like it's just maybe it's comparing apples to oranges I'm, I'm, I don't really know um but at, at the end of the day that's what I saw from that sort of N of one study on myself. Um, and, and again, I've had other patients who say like, oh, I've been, you know, taking cilantro and this or that, and, you know, we'll test and still see metals coming out. Now, I, I really, I'm trying to think here, I don't think I've had any patients where they've 
you know, just used a natural agent like um, cilantro or chlorella, um, or some people talk about, you know, N-acetylcysteine or alpha-lipoic acid or certain other natural agents to try to remove heavy metals. Those things are important for heavy metal detoxification pathways, but in terms of their ability to actually actively chelate metals out of the tissues, um, I'm, I'm not aware of the, uh, I'm not aware of any cases where that's been definitively shown to be terribly, terribly effective. Um, with that being said, it would be really interesting to see, and um, I have had some patients over the course of time where, you know, they said, I, I absolutely don't want to use DMSA, DMPS, EDTA, like none of these synthetic chelators. And so we do use things like chlorella and cilantro, but those are, and, and in some cases, folks, you know, do feel better from those. But uh, I, I unless we've been able to test in the first place to know where the metal levels are sitting, then it's really hard to say, was it actually making like a super tangible difference on paper? So um, it's a really interesting topic. I'd love to, again, see some research literature showing how effective those agents might be. Um, on paper, I think it makes sense to tap into them to some extent, but um, in terms of you know, really getting a person's heavy metal levels down. I'm not aware of anything being nearly as effective as um, full-blown chelation therapy, but not everybody can tolerate chelation. Not everybody wants to do that. Not everybody can access it. So there are some other options that are available and we just always work with the best tools that we can. So thank you for the question. Uh, if anybody has any questions or thoughts about this topic, please post in the comment section below. If there's any questions about any other topics, please feel free to post in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer as soon as I can.